Flamingos, welcome back to Little Bullet 2. Today, I got a new laptop. So, this here is the laptop. It's an HP notebook. Um, I was gonna get, an, I was looking at a lot of different options. HP doesn't have the best reputation, but it's, I did some research, and there are some good HP models out there. It's just, they're not known for their quality. However, this, from what I can tell so far, is a really good laptop, and it's a big upgrade from what I had before, which is this big hunker right here. So, what I wanted to do is kind of compare these two, test them, uh, compare specs, just see how much of an upgrade I'm actually getting out of this. And also, I just wanted to showcase my new computer. So, this is a Dell Latitude. Um, I don't know how much this actually was. I actually got it for free from my dad's work. Um, it's covered in stickers, but I think probably the best feature on this laptop is that it's almost entirely aluminum in build. This whole top part is aluminum. This here is plastic, aluminum, plastic battery. Bottom is plastic. And then on the inside, you've got a matte finish on the screen. This here is a rubbery kind of finish. A tiny little trackpad here. Membrane keyboard. The works, basic stuff. Um, in terms of specs, this has a Core i7 processor, 4 gigabytes of, I'm guessing, DDR4, maybe DDR3, RAM, uh, this big battery pack on the back, which no longer works, I burned it out, so this only works when it's plugged in, which is a bummer, but that's not the fault of the laptop itself. Well, it is, but not the actual model, it's just I happen to have an old one. So, it has a variety of ports, it's got a USB port on this side, as well as a, I don't know what you call that, H, that's not an HDMI, can't remember what that one's called, HDMI port here, this side I have another USB, a, I think that's a VCA, headphone jack, uh, I believe that's, not sure if that's a USB or a Ethernet. No, that's not an Ethernet. Some kind of cable and a charge port. And there's one of those over here. Oh, this is the Ethernet port here. So pretty basic stuff with ports and stuff. Uh, not great specs. Good processor. Not a good amount of RAM. Um, has a spinning hard drive, disk drive, which is not ideal. So that's this laptop. One of the biggest screens I wanted to upgrade is because I wanted to be able to actually use it without it being plugged in. I could have just replaced the battery, but there were other re reasons as well. The other thing is I wanted the other thing is I wanted to do uh, video editing, and this is just not going to happen on here. Not enough RAM. I looked into it. It's not upgradable. Um, so you know. I, I need an upgrade, and also I've had this for about four years, going on four years, and you know, it's it's seen its day. Um, if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing with this laptop, I'm actually going to give it away to a friend of mine named Jules, you've probably seen him in a couple videos, he's kind of been working a lot with me on his YouTube channel, and when we did our random commercial challenge, we had to edit our own commercials. And he ended up doing pretty well with that, and said he liked editing, and hey, I'd, I'd love to have a co-editor on this channel, and speed things up a lot. So he's going to get this for free, so he can start editing videos. Um, not only can he practice on here, but he can also, you know, just actually edit for the channel. So now, under the new shiny, nice and slim light. HP laptop. Uh, I haven't weighed these, but I can personally tell you this one is so much heavier, and 
And here, let's do a quick comparison in slimness. Ugh. You got this one. This isn't the most thin, most portable laptop ever, but compared to what I had, it's a big improvement. If you look at that, you can see so much lighter here. I mean, it's, it's hard to show it visually without actually holding it, but I, if I had to guess, I'd say this one here is around five, six, maybe even seven pounds, and this one's around three to four, probably three. So good portability. Um, they're about the same size overall, same screen size, I believe, which is 15.6 inch screens on both of them. So nothing unreasonable there. This one is still new, so the hinges are a little harder to open, but that's not a big deal. Um, in here, you've got a glossy finish on the screen, which isn't perfect. It's a bit of a fi fingerprint magnet, but I'll never be touching it anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Keyboard, I think there might be a little less travel on these, but I do like the click, and, you know, it's not bad. And... You got some stickers on the inside. I removed most of them on here. This is new, so I haven't done anything like that yet. This also has a Core i7 7500U processor. I don't know what the exact processor has, is on here. I know it's a Core i7, but that's all I know. Um, as you can see, the battery does not stick out on this one, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, this has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is a huge upgrade. That's four, or no, that's 12 extra gigabytes of RAM, which is incredibly helpful when it comes to video editing. So, this is an upgrade in almost every way, except for the hard drive. Um, they both have a spinning disk drive, which if you're not aware, there's two different d types of drives you can have in a computer. You have hard disk drives, which are in both of these. And you also have a solid state drive, or SSD. Now, the main difference is that a hard drive has spinning parts inside of it, which makes it exponentially slower than a solid state drive, which is the equivalent of like a USB stick or like an SD card, only obviously it looks much different. But it's basically a USB stick, but bigger, and you put it in a computer, and it's a whole lot faster and much better for video editing. Oh, before I explain this more, I forgot to mention that this um, this is also an upgrade because it has a dedicated graphics card, and this did not. So, the other, that's the main advantage to having an SSD. But the thing is, I can still get an SSD on this computer, because they make portable SSDs, which you plug in through USB. The only issue is that when you're editing on the, the only issue with that is that when you're editing on the go, or if I just on the spot, I'm like, oh, I gotta do some editing. Um, it's not the most convenient thing to have to be like, oh, don't forget, plug in my SSD. Um, it's a bit more convenient when it's built right into the computer. But the only advantage, well, the advantage to that is that then I have two hard drives working simultaneously. One much faster than the other, but two nonetheless. I'm very excited about this new computer. The only other thing I wanted to show you was a screen resolution comparison. So let me quickly plug in this computer because as I said it only works when it's plugged in. So one of the biggest reasons I got this computer is so that I can upgrade, to m upgrade my video editing software. Currently I'm using Windows Movie Maker which as you may know is not the most advanced thing ever. And I've kind of exceeded the limits. It, my ability has exceeded the limits of Windows Movie Maker. And it seems like a sound investment to get something where I can start using more nonlinear editors with more features. I can't afford, because I spent almost all my money on this computer, I can't afford to get a paid program. But there are a lot of good free programs. There's HitFilm Express, DaVinci Resolve, that's my two main focuses at the moment. 
and both of those are quite similar to Premiere Pro, so I'm, I'm quite excited to be able to start learning new programs and also include those skills and those edits in my videos. The other thing is that because I have to unplug this all the time and it doesn't work without being unplugged, it means that I have to reboot every single time I turn on my computer, whereas this, you have kind of sleep mode where you close it and it's sleeping. That's not really a thing with this one, so that's a disappointment, but it's also not the fault of the laptop itself. So here are the two laptops open. Uh, you, you'll notice the Dell Latitude is a little bit taller. Um, screen size I believe is about the same. And at first glance resolution is clearly a bit better on here. But it's hard to tell exactly how much just by looking at the screens like this. Um, let me show you a bit of a closer look. So as you can see the screen is quite clear looks great and this one really isn't bad either I'm pretty impressed for what seems like kind of a cheap laptop um, the one thing I'd say is missing on this one that this one has is a backlit keyboard as you can see it lights up when I tap this and it's more visible at night this one no lights no nothing like that which, that is a little bit of a disappointment, but I can't honestly say it's a deal breaker, so. Now, the Dell Latitude is preloaded with Windows 8.1, and this has Windows 10. I'm not a fan of Windows 10, but it's not the fault of the laptop itself, so that's not really a fair comparison. Right off the bat, you'll notice this is faster. This took a while just to load in the home screen. Again, this is still loading in, obviously much faster on here. And yeah, this just exponentially improves workflow. And even just convenience, I mean, this is all already loaded up. And yeah. First, and it still hasn't loaded in. Uh, so that's gotta tell you something. For a long time I thought it was that my internet was slow, which it is, but a lot of it was the fault of this laptop. Now, when I first look at these two images, I do notice this looks a bit more blown out. The colors on this one are a little nicer, which isn't a complete deal breaker. They're still both crisp, but I'm actually surprised to see that this is a little bit nicer in color quality. So let's hit play and see what... So on the Dell Latitude, looking very nice actually. Um, I always knew it had a decent screen, but I never expected to think that it looks a little bit better than my new one. Now, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily disappointed in the HP. It looks fine. And, in fact, I would probably wouldn't even think about it when I'm using it. But when you have them right side by side like this, it's kind of surprising to see how different they really are. Now, here it's a bit less noticeable, but in a crisper, more color-oriented image, it's a lot more noticeable. They're both, I'd say, equally crisp, but the colors in this one are just better. Um, so I'm actually quite surprised to see that. And so there are, I'd say, three advantages to this one. You've got a backlit keyboard, better build quality, and apparently a nicer screen. However, this one has significantly more RAM, it's just faster, performance-wise, and I don't know. It, I would definitely recommend the HP over the Dell Latitude, but I can't honestly say that the Dell Latitude is something you should never purchase. I would not recommend Dell as a company, but neither one is terrible. So, if this was anything to you, let's have some epic backdrop and music.
Uh, this video was anything to you. If this video was anything to you, you can go ahead and hit the like button, as well as the subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Twitter, do all that bull crap, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be edited nice and dankly on this here computer. Alright. By the way, quick side note, I know I could have mentioned a couple of other things, such as the camera, but I think we all know most laptop cameras are not good, as evidenced by the fact that I have to shield my face to keep it from being overexposed like this. So, I just wanted to let you know, I know there's some things I didn't mention, but I just mentioned the things that are most important to me, and frankly, I'm sure this looks terrible, but I'm sure it's better than the one on my old laptop. The camera and microphone on that are so just messed up, so, yeah. Also, I know that this sounds terrible, I just went back and looked at it, and my god, the microphone sounds like I'm underwater. So, sorry about that. Um, anyway, but to all the hackers watching me through the webcam right now, um... <coughs> By the way, so like I said earlier in the video, I'm giving this computer away to Jules. Uh, so I'll be spending the next couple weeks cleaning it out, getting all the archived video files onto an external drive, and then, yeah, it'll be his.